Hello, it's Kate from inkstampshare.ink. I've got a cute little project to show you how to make today. This is a box that I've made um, to hold a candle. Now, this lovely little Yankee candle jar I bought as a thank you present for a friend of mine who did some babysitting for me recently. Um, and it's lovely, it's called Macaron Treats and it smells so sweet. It's really lovely. I thought she'd like that. So I made a box to hold it. And um, because it's all sweet, I used the designer series paper of Tasty Treats uh, range that we've got. And I made it to fit, which I'm really rather pleased about. Um, now I'll show you the designer series paper stack or range that we've got. They're all these ice creams and lovely colours and pretty things in here. There's peach and there's ice cream and there's like all the different colours like watermelon wonder and pear pizzazz and there's chocolate, crumb cake and there's and there's also two speciality papers that are glossy. Um, there with strawberries on and ice cream and they're lovely and I thought they're perfect for this project. You can get those in the spring summer catalogue of Stamping Up. So I'll just pop that to the side and I'm going to show you how to make it. Okay, first of all we're going to start off with our card base. And I've used a piece of craft cardstock for the base. And I have measured my um, base at nine and a half inches square. Now all the measurements will be on my blog, so you'll be able to go over and see them afterwards if you'd like, so you don't need to write them down. So this is nine and a half inches square, but just to make it fit a little bit better, the top onto the bottom, I'm gonna shave a smidge off both sides. Literally, you can't even measure what it is, it's just a tiny bit, or a little bit more than that though. Try that again. There we go. And then turn it around and do that again. That's done. So hopefully that'll just be a bit of a more comfortable fit. Then I'm going to score my lines. Now, the depth of the box is three and a half inches. So I'm going to score all the way around with my scorer. That's the cutter. I don't want that one. With my scorer at three and a half inches. So we're tempted to use the cutter, we don't want that to happen. Three and a half. There we go. That's it. That's that done. So I'm going to move my trimmer out of the way. Okay, I'm going to burnish the folds, which will make it a little bit easier for you to see where I'm going to cut. Just take a bone folder and go over those, make them a bit crispy, crisper. <laughs> You take your snips and I'm going to cut up these lines here. Like so. That's quite a deep box. Hold the candle. And it will go together like this. So because these edges are rather deep, we need to trim them down. So no not no exact measurements, just cut off that halfway along. Like so, on all four corners. Right, so the idea being when these panels come up and go inside, they will stick like so. There, so those will be on the inside, this will be on the outside and your box will be like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put the glue on. 
Now I'm going to use the um, Tombow got glue uh, multi-purpose adhesive because this is really good strong glue and it's great for making boxes. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to put it on the inside of my flaps. Start it off. Here we go. You don't need a huge amount. It goes a long way. Just need to make sure the edges get it. Spread out your glue. Okay. And then we're gonna butt butt the sides up. You have a nice crease. There. And the same on the other side. So it's nice and even all the way around. And then the same on this side. So one side and then the other one. Make sure the creases are well glued down. There we go. You don't want it gaping or anything, so you'll find use your bone folder to make sure it sticks all the way down. There you go, you've got your box. Well, box bottom. And then for your I'll let that dry there. For your lid, I've got a piece of the designer series paper that I've chosen. I love this colour, it's pool party. And uh, this is five and a half inches square, and I have actually scored this one in exactly the same way. And I've scored this how deep I like my sides to be of my of my box at one and a half inches. So I'll just go around here, and we're going to do the same. I don't have to be so hard on the bone folder um, with design series paper, it's not as thick, you don't want it to tear. So I'm going to go up the sides, if you can see it better, no, you can see it better this side. Do exactly the same as I've done before. Like so. And these flaps are going to tuck in. Make sure that they do hide properly. You can always trim your flats and notch them. I think that's good. Okay, and I'm going to do exactly the same on the inside corners. Put your Tombow. Anything like this would make a great little birthday gift, treats or anything, wouldn't it? Right, okay, so I'm going to bring them in just the same. Make sure it looks nice and it's nice and flush all the way around. Actually, this isn't just straight. Oh, you can see because there's a line there. There we are. That's got it. And the same this side. Just line them up. Excellent. Now, with a bit of luck, our top should fit our bottom of our box. Just with a bit of luck. Maybe a little bit of coaxing. Depends how snug I've glued the... Oh no. Let's try it the other way. I may need to have made the book. Oh, there we go. Perfect, it fits. It does fit and it's not buckling. It's fine. So that's my box. Now we just need to decorate it really. And what I've done with this one is I've used the scalloped circles with a straight edge circle and then a stitched framelet. And I've cut some more of that designer series paper out there. So I'm going to do that next. So you might hear the big shot. So I've got this one 
Actually, this is the other one I've done. I've got this one. I'm going to pop it through the shot. I hear it squeaking away. You can see. Okay, there's my scallop circle into that lovely ice lolly paper. And then we should have all the rest. Yeah, here we go. Whoops. I don't drop them everywhere. They're all stuck to me. I'm a bit gluey. So I'll do the next one in the um, Watermelon Wonder. That cracking is quite normal. Don't worry. Um, there we go. Simple, aren't they? And they're so useful for dressing things up. And then we've got the stitch shapes, which leaves a little bit of stitch detail around the circle. But first of all, I will um, stamp our sentiment on it. And I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I thought this would match this, um, the, this paper quite well. This is the Sweet Sentiment, since it's got so many different sentiments on it that are really useful. And I'm going to use this one, The Best Things in Life are Sweet, because I thought that was really... Uh, fitting for what we're doing. So I've already um, got that one ready. Let's find my ink that matches everything. Pool party. I love how everything matches in stamping up. Ooh. Right. The best things in life are sweet. Let's see what kind of a job I'll make of this. Not bad at all. Perfect, I would say. Right, let's go back through the big shop with the stitched circle die on it and it fits just about perfectly. There we go. And those will all be sandwiched together to make my top up for the box. Just about to see the stitching around the outside there on the camera. Right, let's put this away before I make a mess. Right, so we've got those. Ooh. What I've also done is I've put the same paper on the side of the box to dress it up so it all ties in and matches. So I've got some little paper panels that I've cut to fit and they go on the side of the box. Oops, sorry, I've got the camera there. I'm just going to tell you this, the uh, measurements. Okay, so the panels on the bottom of the box on the side, they are two and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches and they fit the side of the box nicely. So I'm going to use some more of the Tombow for this. See, both sides of the paper is absolutely beautiful. You get an awful lot in the pack. You know, lots of people don't like to use their papers. I've got over that now. I used to be a bit like that. I can't use that because I like it too much. But I'd rather have it used and on show or somebody enjoy it than stuck in a drawer. And papers do date. They do go out of date, you know, if you keep them for years and years. I went through a phase years ago when I was scrapbooking of buying two if I really loved it. One to keep and one to use. How ridiculous is that? So let's chop up all our paper, guys, and use it. That's what it's for. And you know what? You could always get another one. <laughs> there. Nearly there. Just popping the side panels on. Just eyeball it. I've just done it a quarter of an inch shorter than the actual panel to leave a nice border around the outside. Make sure your ice creams are facing the right way out. That's useful. <laughs> there we go. I've got a bit gluey. That's fine. It's all part of the fun. Glue and ink, isn't it? All right, let's pop it on. So there we go. There's our bottom of our box and our lid. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sandwich these together. 
coming to the end of our box making. Now where is my sticky pads? Here we go. I'm getting too tidy. <laughs> Don't think that's true. Right, let's put a few of these on the back. So on the back of the sentiment panel, I'm going to put three dimensionals. <laughs> I have got glue everywhere today. <laughs> oh, my life. There we are. So the best things in life are sweet. And then I'm going to do the same again on the back of the watermelon piece of uh, circle. Sorry. Anybody else find these backs of these sticky foam has everywhere, even when you've cleaned up? They just follow you about. Or the dog. <laughs> right, could have it that way, but I think we'll still stick with the matching ice lollies. They're so cute. Really, really love it. They're quite forgiving, these things, too. There we go. And that is going to go on the top. Now I'm going to glue it down on the top. I think otherwise it could get far too high. Putting more foam pads on there. Right, there we go. So, just pop it on. Now, I've used some of these pretty um, little enamel dots that match here. So I'm gonna use some of those. I've got some here, if I can find them. Oh, I have many. I have, they come in massive packs. In fact, let me show you these. They come in like, you have got so many. All the different colours. These are actually the brights that I've got in my hand. This is not the ones we're using, but you can see how many you get in a pack. You get all the different colours. You get a lot. I think there's like 200 dots or something. There's shapes. So in this one, I had some dots and I've also got some uh, a little heart and a star and I'm going to use those. I'm just going to randomly place them on my top. Not that I mostly do or anything, but I like to get things right. And then I'm going to put this star down the bottom. I think that's going to be a cute little gift. There we go. Right, so that's our bottom, that's our top. And let's just check that the candle fits, fits in so you can see how well it fits. Oh, look at that. It literally was made for it. Now let's have another go at this lid and hopefully it'll fit okay. Oh yes, there you go. Well, I'm quite pleased with those little boxes. I think they're great. I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you'd like any of the products used in it, please go to my shop. It's katebolt.stampinup.net and have a look on my blog for the measurements and the materials we've used. That's inkstampshare.ink. Thanks for stopping by.